Good evening, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I just realized that it's been uh, f four days or three days since I made a video. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the death float just keeps going by. Here in West Michigan, it is 6.37 in the evening. It is a Tuesday night. It is December the 1st, 2020. I got my diary already for December already. Got the calendar already. I circled that winter begins on the 21st of December. And we have 30 more days left in this year. And before you know it, it'll be January the 1st, 2021. And I will be on page one in my 2021 diary. Today, I am on page... I ended today on page 1,151 for the year 2020. Yeah, this morning I got my December 2020 diary out. Twelfth month coming to the end of another year. Uh, I don't do yearly wrap-ups when it comes to booktube. I can't remember what I read <laughs> even yesterday. I have to look at my diary from November 2020, which I stored away last night down the lower level. So uh, usually I read the same things week after week for a couple weeks. I usually don't get tired of reading something. Maybe it, I can read something for about three weeks and then I get kind of uh, not tired or bored. I just, I'm always getting books or I'm always having books on my mind and I'm always um, studying something or uh, digging deep into something and, and, uh, but I tend to read the same things a couple of months, especially when it comes to Christian books. Uh, I already have my December 2nd, 2020 diary ready for tomorrow morning. And uh, so today is December the 1st, 2020. It is 640 in the evening. It is a Tuesday. My wife and I, we got up this morning and then my wife wanted to do errands. And I wasn't going to leave the house because of the plague, the, the red death that's going uh, throughout our country and killing thousands. But it was, a, it was a nice day today. It was blue sky, sunny, kind of cold. And I had this obsession to go look at used books. And my wife is going to be by Salvation Army at Thrift Store and also by uh, Holland Rescue Mission Northside Thrift Store. And so I went along. I would, I couldn't, I could not resist. So I bought some used books. Uh, not that many, I think five or six, which I'll show in a future video. In this video, I was going to do a Monday Reads last night, but... Uh, I got into watching Monday Night Football and then my wife went to bed early and I stayed up and I uh, watched booktube videos and I uh, sat in the dark and looked over in my life from the time of my birth into this present time in the history of mankind. But uh, I have been, I got this book in the mail this week, or was it last week? Uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church, A New History by John Anthony McClucken. As you all know, I've mentioned in past videos that I am interested in the Eastern Orthodox Church and spirituality. I have books over here. In my pile over here on Eastern Orthodox spirituality that I keep. I have this book, Eastern Orthodox, no, it's called Orthodox Spirituality by Standerloff, who was, I think he's a Romanian. 
uh, a Romanian theologian in the, in the Eastern Orthodox. So I keep this book. Uh, it's called Orthodox Spirituality, A Practical Guide for the Faithful and Definitive Manual for the Scholar. This is really a great book if you want to know about Orthodox spirituality. And I also like this one here. Orthodox Psychotherapy, the Science of the Fathers by Metropolitan Nefkakithlis Herodias. So I keep these by me. They're really wonderful books on Orthodox spirituality. Eastern North I have a whole library down on the lower level. So I'm interested in Eastern Orthodox spirituality besides the Carthusian spirituality. And, uh, one of the books I've been uh, rereading is this, The Spiritual Writings of Dionysus the Carthusian, translated into English by Ideal M. Narain. As you all know, I've been I got out last week, I got this in the mail. This is a projected sixth volume translation of Dionysian's uh, commentary on the Psalms in the Old Testament. The commentary on Devaic Psalms, volume one, Psalms one through 25. The Beatrice Vera, translated by Andrew M. Greenwell. So I've been reading these last week and Throughout the month of December, I'll be reading. Uh, I started rereading his treatise on contemplation. In this volume on uh, contemplation, so I've been reading that on contemplation. Wonderful spiritual material. So that's why I I, I got out the Eastern Orthodox. The East Orthodox Church A New History by John Anthony McCluckin. I got this, been reading this. I have, uh, I've shown this in the past. This is John Anthony McCluckin's The Path of Christianity, The, the First Thousand Years. I've been uh, reading this, this week and last week. I'll be reading it throughout the month of December. And I've been rereading The First Thousand Years of Global History of Christianity by Robert Louis Welkin. I've been reading these because I've been reading that book on... Uh, it's up here, I'll get it. I've been reading this book, The First 100 Years of Christianity, Introduction to Its History, Literature and Development by Udell Chanel. So I've been reading that, and I wouldn't, you know, you, you read the first 100 years of Christianity, and I've been, I'm always studying the f church history from the f first 100 years, the second, the third, the fourth century, fifth century, sixth century, tenth, seventh century Christianity and how it developed uh, not only its spirituality, but also its doctrinal development. And that's why I've also been reading this, rereading parts of this, God Has Spoken, A History of Christian Theology by Jarrell Bray. I've shown this book in the past, and I get it out every once in a while, and I read it. And I'm reading right now on the, the Doctrine of the Son of Man, Christology. And, I, you know, I've been reading on Christology and other books. Primarily, I've been reading on Christology. And this book, Systematic, Reformed Systematic Theology, Man and Christ, by... Rob, Joel R. Beakey, and Paul Smiley, and I've been reading that on Christology, the doctrine of of the person of Christ. So I've been reading on the Christology.
been reading on a commentary on the Psalms by uh, Dionysus and the Carthusian. I've been reading Dionysus and Carthusian's treatise on contemplation. Uh, I'm still reading uh, Anthony Berger's Ex Christ's Prayer Before His Passion, expository sermons on John 17. I've been reading that. So those are the kinds of things I read as I drift in the death flow, as I'm surrounded by the red plague, as uh, the world goes in a state of chaos. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this uh, East Orthodox new history. You can tell it's very slim, it's very concise, very comprehensive, and very, very interesting. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the first 100 years of Christianity by Adele Chanel. Uh, I was reading uh, the first the first missionary journeys in the mission to the Gentiles. I have another book on that over here. I'll show you. This is a good book on Paul the missionary, realities, strategies, and methods by Ed Harge. Chabelle. So these are the kind of books I look at as I go through my days here in West Michigan as I drift. I have I almost finished with the novel The Children of Light by Robert Stone. Uh, I only got a couple of pages left. So I'm almost finished. I was reading this during the weekend as I was watching on Saturday, college football, and on Sunday, professional football, I would read this during commercials and halftime. I'm almost finished with that. And when it comes to the Bible, I've been reading, I've been reading through the Bible this, well, coming to the end of 2020, going into 2021, I'll be reading through the Bible from Genesis to Revelations. And... I'm in 1st Kings, I'm in chapter, I'm on chapter 8 of 1st Kings in the Old Testament. If you want a good reading plan, read this, read the Bible in the Year by McShane. So that's what I've been reading and uh, I'm really enjoying reading through the Bible again. Uh, I guess I'm in 1 Kings chapter 8 next. Reading the book of Psalms. And in that uh, commentary, by Dionysus and Carthusian, I am in Psalm... Psalm I am. Oh. Psalm three of this book. Yeah, I look for I, I just pray and hope that they publish all six volumes of this. It's not just gonna die out, but I hope they, they, they do publish all six volumes. Psalm three, I'll close with reading Psalm three which reads uh, Psalm 3. Uh, the security of God's protection, a Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom his son. Lord, how they increase their trouble that trouble me. Oh, I'll just start again. Lord, how they increased that trouble that trouble me. Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Selah, Shelah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Shelah. I lay down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people 
that have set themselves against me around about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Salah. So I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you have a good new week as we have a good new month, the month of December 2020. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving last last week. Thank you for the comments and thank you for the new subscribers. Do pray that during the time of the plague, COVID-19, that you're not sick. Uh, I read an article that people are paying their rent by credit cards. I hope that you are not evicted, that you're not homeless, that you have food and shelter in this time of economic collapse and chaos, and that you would have a, a good new week. And until next time, I don't, I don't think anything else. I. I don't have anything coming in the mail this week. I did go through stores, like I said earlier. I got some used books that I will show in a future video. But that's about it. Not much else happening here. Uh, the weather today was cold and sunny and blue skies, which was a blessing. It's not snowing. It's supposed to snow towards next week. Coming December, we might have a white Christmas this year in white West, West, West Michigan. So yeah, I've been reading Dionysian Carthusian on contemplation, reading Anthony John Anthony McClucken, the history, the Eastern Orthodox Church, a new history, reading the first hundred years of Christianity by Udell Chanel. Finishing the novel Robert by Robert Stone, The Children of Light. And rereading Robert Louis Wilkins, The First Thousand Years, A Global History of Christianity. Rereading The Path of Christianity, The First Thousand Years by John Anthony McClucken. Reading on the development of Christology, God Has Spoken. A History of Christian Theology by Gerard Bray. This is a really good book. I highly recommend it. All these books I recommend, like I said, that my channel in YouTube, Booktube, is to recommend good Christian literature, good literature to read for those who are uh, who want something to read for devotions in the mornings or to read to strengthen their faith to be intelligent uh, Christians about their faith. But above all, read the Bible. Really enjoying reading the first Kings about David. Now I'm into about King Solomon. Read, read and sing the Psalms. This is a good book on Paul, the missionary. Realities and Strategies and Methods by Idhard Shadow uh, Really enjoying this commentary on the Psalms by Dionysus and Carthusian. Translated introduction by Andrew M. Greenwell. Enjoying reading on John 17 sermons by the, the old Puritan divine Anthony Burgess. And enjoying reading Reform Systematic Theology, Man and Christ, Volume 2, by Joel R. Beeky and Paul M. Smalley on Christology. So I'll close. Once again, praying you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the subscribers. And until next time, bye.